Hi guys, I've been trying to design the beefed up version of the Tesla coil solid state driver, which I did, and it works to some good extent. Well, this is working. Now the problem was that the arcs were too short to my taste. I was running the circuit from a lower voltage lab supply. To increase the arc length, I had to increase the supply voltage and that's why I used my full bridge rectifier with 170 volt DC. Hopefully it won't break. Wow, this is scary. But the arcs were still not long enough for me, so I started to increase the drive to the circuit. I'm gonna stand back a little bit and increase the power. See, my circuit blows up. I've blown up over 16 MOSFET transistors so far, each over $6. You can check my website for more detail if you want. But the problem is that my Tesla coil, which is basically a transformer, has a 70 to 1 ratio, which means if I want to create 70,000 volts output, I have to create 1000 volt input pulses. But the 70 kV only generates 2 to 3 inch long arcs you saw. And if I want to raise the voltage above the 1200 volt rating of the transistors, they'll pop like popcorn. Well, I can't settle on such small arcs. You know, I feel like a man with a very tiny pistol. You pull your tiny pistol out and you'll be the laughing stock of the war for the next few decades. The soldiers can't stop laughing and the war ends. Next generation will remember you as the guy who stopped the great war with his tiniest pistol. Can't live like that. I'd rather the war continue but I have the large pistol. So I have two options, either change my transistors to something with higher voltage rating which will be very costly and without significant effect, or change my transformer ratio to something much greater. I built my original secondary winding at around 700 turns with 28 gauge wire. I made this structure which is basically the primary of my transformer with 10 windings and then I'll wind the secondary around this PVC pipe which will be mounted like this. One turn. Two turns, three turns. This is gonna take too long. I came up with this idea. I got one threaded rod and two nuts and cut two pieces of wood. Then I can put my pipe like this and hold it together with the two wood pieces on both sides and tighten the nuts. I'm gonna put it in my drill like this and turn it. Hey, look at that, it's done. Make sure to glue it properly so it doesn't unwind, otherwise you're gonna have a bad day. Using the drill was easy with the thicker copper wire, but now I want to get around the same length of tower, but over 2000 turns. This should triple my arc length with additional benefits. That's why I'm using 38 gauge wire, which is much thinner and can break easily, so I have to wind the whole thing with hand. At a rate of 1 turn per 10 seconds, I should be able to finish it within 6 hours and can start testing. Oh yeah, and I have to do my taxes too. I'm hoping that at least the capacitors are not charged anymore. Let's try them out. Yeah, don't forget that those rectifier capacitors hold great charge. I have some short videos of my experiments and behind the scenes which are worth being shared on Facebook but not on my YouTube channel. So if you like, go to my Facebook page Electroboom and like it there and I'll start to share them with you.